someone said to me in another video that Gary, you say we a lot, as in this wee bit and that wee bit. Can you tell us what the international definition of a wee bit is? Well, it could be anything from this to this. It depends what you're doing. But when I say a wee bit, I mean very little. Good morning. I don't know if the sound is picking us up, but outside right now, it's like a, a torrential storm, which is typical for this part of uh, where I live in northeast of Scotland. Today's job, or this job for this week, is this. I'll give you a close up. This is quite an unusual job for me because it is not a total build-in with the carcass and everything. It's a refurbishment of an existing uh, wardrobe which is very old-fashioned and someone in the past has tried to do this job up uh, by putting on uh, doors which are absolutely rubbish. Which is going to be a paint finish and there's going to be mirrors in the back of it, so it's going to get replenished and I think it'll look really nice. You'll see some photographs of the before and after. Let's get cracking. This is the router I'm going to use to remove the mortises and the door styles. I like to do the mortises first because it gives me an exact size to work to my tenons. I try and work as close to 12mm on a cover door as possible. And I nibble down using the table saw my tenons, my shoulders. Taking off a wee haunch, that's a little bit and just slightly round off the edges to the shape of the tenon, the mortise hole cutter. And then I'm going to touch up using my rebate plane. I love this plane. And it sharpens so well and it's just absolutely beautiful. Just to tweak everything up so that it just fits. And then the top rail of the door, I'll do the tenons to that. Just a wee nibble, check it for size before I go ahead and run the whole lot out. I just thought to myself here that anyone that's uh, watching this video in America, I hope you understand my Scottish accent. Because trust me, I'm really trying hard to make sure that I'm clear enough. Because if I want to speak in normal Scottish, you wouldn't understand a word I was saying. So anyway, back to the job. Try it in a dry fit. Make sure everything's fitting perfectly, which it is, it's beautiful. Before I start to glue up. And then, just a wee touch up with the scraper. It's another one of my favourite tools. I'll maybe put a description and the video to what number of scraper it is, I can't remember offhand, but it is a beautiful, beautiful tool. Now I've got to make beading, a small beading in a shape like a hockey stick profile, so that I can make up the, the, the inner panel, keeping it separate from the door, so that I'm not making the whole door and the embellishments, the half circles the same time. That's uh, beading being run on the router table. I'm going to have to do a video sometime on the router table. On the router fence, I made a router fence. It, it works beautiful. And uh, I'll maybe do a video sometime on that. And then I'll fit in the beading dry. I actually glued the joints of the beading to 
together 45 degree angle and I glued it together inside the door frame so that I can remove it later and you'll see why. Now it's being semi-circles I don't need to bandsaw out the whole circle I'll just use half half the plywood saves a lot of plywood this is a jig that I've made for the bandsaw that I'll cut the outer diameter first and I've got another position that I reset it to which is 15mm less than the first diameter and I've got 24 of these to cut so there's a lot of cutting on the bandsaw if you go slow enough It'll reduce the saw marks, you've still got a lot of tidying up to do, you've still got a lot of edges to sand. And here's it going together. I speeded this up, I think, 3000% because it would take way too long to watch it. The glue I'm using is that polyurethane glue. It's an absolute brilliant glue, especially for small parts such as this to go together holds everything brilliant and when I often measure things out sometimes it is better to not use a tape measure to measure things here I'm going to transfer the marks onto a wee stick so that the wee stick's got a mark and I set the circles the wee stick. Just leave it to glue for a wee while. And then I can glue it into the actual door itself. And there we have it. Good morning. Well here we are. We're at the job, and here are the three doors, the three doors that we've got to change. And I think I'll do a wee time lapse just to speed things on a bit, find a place to set up the camera.